Okay, so here we are for uh, what is going to be exercise three, okay, in the entire course. Or if you're following along with our course on our eLearn site, this is in topic two and it will be exercise one where we are going to create a square. But this time around, instead of using the eight lines of code that you can see here that we previously used, we're going to only be allowed to use three lines of code and that's gonna change things dramatically. So obviously our boilerplate code that we have sitting up the top there is gonna stay the same, but this time around, we're obviously going to be using a loop to make that code more efficient. So you will remember that for our number range, we're able to create a loop that says for i in range, and then we can say what we want it to be. Uh, so we could have zero comma three, Okay, and then we can say what we want that code to do. So we're gonna say my turtle dot forward 200, my turtle dot left 90. Now this isn't actually gonna work the way we want it to because we're drawing a square and I'm not gonna loop enough times. So I need to change that to a four so that we do it four times. Okay, so to keep things nice and easy, I'm just gonna keep my variable named i uh, just because it uh, is much quicker for us to be able to type it in, which is a little bit more efficient to be able to get our code running. Now this time around, I'm gonna save this as a different thing. So I'm just gonna save as exercise three, okay? And then from there, I can run my code and you'll see over here, there we go, it's, I've grabbed it just in time. It still draws the four sides of the square. Okay, so basically what's happening here is it gets to the loop and it enters at position zero and it will draw one forward line and then turn left. And then the next time through the loop, it's now at position one and it will drive forward and then turn left. Okay, and now it's at position two in the, in the range. So it'll drive forward and turn left. Then it'll be in position three. It'll drive forward and turn left. And when it gets to position four, it exits that loop so that it doesn't run any more code for this particular loop, hence us getting our square. Okay, so that number range has obviously made our code much more efficient. So you can see here that we've saved five lines of code. Now, yes, it was nice and easy the last time around where we just copied and pasted it, but I want you to think about it if you had something where it was drawing uh, something that was much more complex and we'll get to something like that in a little while. Uh, it would make things a little bit more challenging. So that's it for this particular video. We are going to jump into another one in a second, which will show us how we can draw a triangle. And then from there, we are going to look at doing the hexagon uh, and then, you know, a whole heap of other different things.